Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that until recently you've probably never heard of. That's right, today's topic is all about multimodal. We will explore its history, why it's important for accessibility, and how it's becoming a game changer in the field of AI. So let's get started. Multimodal, in its simplest term, is all about providing multiple options to do something. For example, you might drive to a train station, take the train into the city, and then walk to your final destination. This combination of driving, train travel, and walking is a multimodal transportation system. In human communication, multimodal methods have always been essential. Ancient civilizations used hieroglyphics that combined pictorial symbols with sounds and meanings. Medieval manuscripts often integrated texts with elaborate illustrations to convey stories and religious teachings. Fast forward to the 19th and early 20th centuries, and we see the rise of multimodal systems in education and entertainment. Chalkboards, illustrated books, and early films combine text, images, and audio to engage audiences in more dynamic ways. With the advent of computers in the mid 20th century, multimodal systems took a significant leap forward. Initially, most computers could only handle text based input, but as technology advanced, researchers began to integrate multiple types of data to create more interactive and immersive experiences. Eventually, multimedia systems could handle text, graphics, and audio simultaneously. Simultaneously. These systems laid the groundwork to what we now consider multimodal technology. Multimodal systems were not just limited to entertainment and education. In fields like aviation and medical training, simulators began using multimodal inputs to provide more realistic and effective training environments. These early implementations showed the potential of combining different types of data to improve usability and effectiveness. So why is multimodal technology so important? One of the key reasons is accessibility. Accessibility. Multimodal systems can break down barriers for people with different abilities, making information and technology more accessible to everyone. For instance, consider someone who is visually impaired. Traditional text-based systems can be challenging, but with multimodal technology, they can use voice commands to interact with their devices. Similarly, for someone who is deaf, systems can convert spoken language into text or even sign language. Multimodal technology doesn't stop there. It can combine different modes to create even more inclusive experiences. For example, a learning platform can offer text, audio, and visual aids simultaneously, catering to different learning styles and needs. This approach ensures that everyone, regardless of their abilities, can access and benefit from technology. And most recently, and probably why you clicked on the video thumbnail, multimodal has been in the news because of AI. AI systems have been designed to handle specific types of data up to this point, but the real world isn't like that. So new models have been recently released that aim to replicate this multi-sensory world by integrating multiple types of data to make better decisions and predictions. For example, in autonomous vehicles, AI systems use cameras, LiDAR, and microphones to navigate and understand their environment. In healthcare, multimodal AI can combine medical imaging, patient records, and genetic data to provide more accurate diagnosis and personalized treatment plans. And most recently, we've seen multimodal AI models that have become virtual assistants that can now process voice and image. We personally hope that these developments will lead to more accessible ways of learning, but what do you think? Do let us know in the comments. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like and share. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, brand and digital. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.